Uh, I think this gay marriage thing, I think this country needs a few more years is what it comes down to. Yeah? A few more years. You think we'll ever have a gay president? Hmm. Supposedly we already had one. I don't, I don't know. That we... one guy. Oh. The one guy. We've talked about him. Yeah? Yeah. All, oh, the features, all, the, all the features were there. Yeah? Help me out. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Who did this think. break already? E-Rock the country knows. is never ready Lincoln, for the real right? change, though. Lincoln. Lincoln. What the fuck? Jesus, E Rock. They just put a movie out about him, and <laughs> not a, a fucking, Lincoln. not a hint <laughs> what the of, fuck? of his sexuality. <laughs> Lincoln. E Rock, please comment. E Rock. People still think he's gay. What? What? Was it the hat? Made it look like a penis helmet? Was it the shot to the head? <laughs> right. It's not the first time he had a shot to his head. <laughs> e Rock. All right, here's the answer. Oh, it's, uh, it's Buchanan. James Buchanan yeah, who lived with William Rufus. Yes, King. remember we did this bit? Read yeah. this thing. All right. All right. For many years in D.C., prior to the presidency, James Buchanan lived with William Rufus King, who was earlier vice president under. Under. Franklin Pierce. Under. So he lived with a past vice president. And he, Just oh, imagine. Wait, wait. Yeah. This is, this is yeah, got even worse. King was referred to by Andrew Jackson as Miss Nancy. <laughs> well, that was like a big fucking... That's like saying faggot. Yeah. That's Brown, big back yes, then. Yes. Aaron Brown called him Buchanan's better half. Yes. Wow. It wasn't Lincoln, though. <laughs> it wasn't Lincoln, e -Rock. Buchanan. Do we have a picture of Buchanan? Yeah. Or a yes. painting? Something? Yeah. You, Let's see what he looks like. Is he we handsome? We did this bit. Yeah. He, he yeah. kind of, you know. Did he get e I think he was wearing the cape still way past the oh, point of presidents wearing the oh, cape. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. He started the whole wig thing. Oh, yes. They were just embarrassed the president with such a fruit. Jim Jeffries. Yes, Jim Jeffries. Right. Take a seat. We're talking about our president, uh, Buchanan, yeah. who apparently might have been gay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't know how we got on this. Uh, oh, Ant goes, uh, will we ever have a gay president? I said, yeah. uh, there's rumors that we already had one, and his name is James Buchanan. Of course, you'll have a gay one eventually. Eventually, but yeah. I'm saying Hillary you might will get in, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I think they, a lot. Yeah, you know what? It's funny, but I think we'd have a lesbian um, president before we have a, a gay man president. An openly gay. Yeah. Yeah, you have a lesbian. Flamboyant. Well, well Buchanan lived with an ex-vice president, and uh, who was called Nancy? <laughs> uh, the vice president that he lived with. The former vice president yeah, that the, he lived with. Yeah, the guy he lived with. As he was president, was he living with this guy? Before he was president. Oh. Uh, oh, William yeah. Rufus King. He yeah. to toss him to the curb before he went to fucking 1600. Yeah, yeah. He's gay, he's gay. Yeah. And they called him Nancy. Not James Miss Buchanan. Nancy. Miss Nancy. Miss Nancy. Oh, so. you mean Miss Nancy over there? Right. And weren't there letters that popped up or something? Yeah. The cheaper letters. letters. There was a yeah. song. Found them in the burnt out cabin. Yeah. Two C's with a fucking O and a K. That's <laughs> 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 And so much And now people try to back up E-Rock. There are rumors that Lincoln was gay. And then this guy writes, uh, pull up. Pierce, he looked gay. So th this is the, got the gay look. The gay, the gay face. The gay this face. is the thing with Lincoln is that that they have like um, we we all just fucking wank over Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, right. Yeah, like, like he can't Trump. do anything wrong. Uh -huh. either. But they go, that's the best depiction of Lincoln ever. Mm. Fucking who, who knows that? Yeah, no one knows right. sure. He's doing the depiction of the guy at the fucking Gettysburg Museum. <laughs> who does the or the animatronic? That right, goes right, in the Hall of Presidents. Four and seven years ago, a he machine did it. did it at Disney years before <laughs> Daniel do, Day Lewis. He's You're doing right. that cunt, right? Yeah. But we don't know. In the same way, we don't know what dinosaurs sound like. Yeah, right. We just assume because they're big fucking lizards. Right. They go yeah. rah, but we don't know. They, they might, probably didn't even make a sound. They might sound like sheep. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Cats, right. Right. Or, or they might have went, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That might have been their fucking sound. That would look silly. And and for for all intents and purposes, Lincoln, we just think sounds like that because he was old looking with a mm. with a shitty beard. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he might have sounded like Andy Dick or anything. <laughs> yeah, well, they had a high voice, right? Sound like a poofta. Yeah, they finally figured out his, <laughs> they finally figured like out his voice was a little higher <laughs> yeah. than we thought. So yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of people pissed off at Iraq. We got to go to Bonnie in D.C. really fast. Bonnie, go ahead. Hey, I just want Iraq to defend himself because everybody knows Lincoln was gay. I just watched a History Channel program oh, yeah? reading letters where that he wrote about how he'd always loved this other dude. Oh, they spoke defend differently in their letters back then. 
Right, yeah. Ah, my dearest Bartholomew, <laughs> your ass cheeks are yeah. lovely this time of year. <laughs> I miss the smell of your taint. <laughs> I misinterpret that. Just, well, it balls on a warm summer day. <laughs> Anyone who can fuck Sally Field for that long. <laughs> <laughs> Where are these stated. letters, yeah. Bonnie? Where are these letters? Yeah, what letters? I'm telling you, I watched the History Channel program. It wasn't even two weeks ago, and they were reading the letters out loud, and they said... All right, let's find the letters. The History I Channel. fear my orgasms have left me a cripple. The History Channel has the Bible now as history. Yeah. They're letting anything through, the History <laughs> Channel. They're <laughs> fucking, like, porn dealers and storage wars. The History Channel's really dropped the <laughs> I ball. I <laughs> know, right? They used to all be Hitler. Just right. Hitler. They, they ran out of Hitler stuff. The stuff. Hitler, Hitler Channel. Yeah, and then yeah. they just went, ah, oh, fuck Hitler. Oh. Yeah. But Let's go for warehouses with stuff and yeah. a guy bidding on it. I like the old days. Hitler and his Nazi menace sweeping <laughs> across Europe. They show him, like, tussling the hair of a young German boy. Yes. <laughs> and now it's fucking, you know, how much can we rip you off for a fucking baseball card that's worth $20,000? Yes. E-Rock, are you going to defend yourself or what? But the baseball card's old, so that's why it's true. history. Right. The, but the, bi true. the Bible thing is I, I started watching the Bible on the plane coming over here because yeah. I thought comedy purposes, right? Sure. I want the Bible to start with like just just black and then like Oh, you want the whole and then fucking I, I want a finger. It fucking leaps forward to Noah's Ark in what? the first episode. It did, huh? And Noah just telling his family about the beginning. Oh, it's like, oh really? It's like Noah sitting so on the boat going uh, and then he made the animals, and then he made some light, and here we are. Oh. So, so there's a lot of hearsay. Yeah. yeah. By this Noah yeah. guy. Second, third party yeah. fucking and it, testimony. And it gets yeah. onto the History Channel. And this one begat that one, and that one begat mm. that one, and begot, begot, begot. They always leave out those movies, because I grew up mm. watching Cecil B. DeMille movies. Oh, yeah, and all epics. Stuff. But they always leave out the... It's like Abraham, the guy who went to the top of the mountain... And say, and God said, "You got to kill your son." And then God was like, "Kidding, you know that one?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but because you got to kill your son, you're right by me. And yeah. he's like, "Oh God, cut it out!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're killing me. Why would you do that? I was about to kill him. You fucking crazy bastard. <laughs> you, right? but, but he's like, "You were gonna do it, weren't yeah, you?" Yeah, because I really love you. <laughs> I, really, I really, really love you. I was yeah. gonna kill my son with no fucking issue. Yeah. And then the next bit of the Bible is, and then Abraham went home and fucked his sister. And that bit's just never depicted in the movies, where no. he had a celebratory fuck of his sister. Wow. Where he went, ah, oh, fuck my sister. It's like, I don't have to kill my kid, I'm going to fuck my sister. <laughs> it's a natural respell. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's, uh, yeah, anybody would do that. Wow, I never realized no. uh, that. Well, we got two I things. Might, I might have made that up. Well, we got we got two things. I read that. We got two things going on though. Oh, okay. Everyone wants to talk about Lincoln. They said he shared a bed with a young boy soldier for years. Oh, boy toy. Do, we, do you have any info yet, Sam? Yeah, because he rocks not defending himself. In 19th century America, people need to understand that men commonly bunked with other men mm. uh, in the for, same bed. Well, for example, when lawyers and judges traveled the circuit with Lincoln, uh -huh. the lawyers often slept two in a bed and eight in a room. Right? Don't judge. No, don't <laughs> judge. <laughs> William H. Herndon recalled. Why? Why wouldn't you just take the floor at that point? Well, Was it that cold back oh, then? Please, freezing cold, and then the yeah. rats on the floor. Yeah. You got to sleep with another man. You, you got to. Yeah. Put your dick in his ass, too, exactly. to keep it warm. Just to, just to fucking forget the fact you're being eaten by bed bugs. <laughs> exactly. If you're getting your ass fucked, you're going, ow, ow, and you forget yeah. that you're being chewed alive. They just freed the slaves for the extra space. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> there wasn't anything. They didn't like black people. It was just that they were taking up too much space in the bed. <laughs> But who was the first guy I went, all right, this is fucked up. I'm not sleeping yeah, with a dude anymore. His name room. would have been Gary. <laughs> yeah. I don't know yeah. why. What else, Sam? <laughs> well, a tabulation of historical sources shows historical that horses. Lincoln slept in the same bed as at least 11 boys and men during his youth and adulthood. There are no known instances in which Lincoln tried to suppress knowledge or discussion of such arrangements. And we vilify Michael Jackson. Uh-huh. He didn't do nothing. He was just Lincoln-esque. Oh, Lincoln. <laughs> fucking. Jesus Christ. Uh, like, uh, Lincoln met Joshua Fry Speed. I don't know if you guys know that. Yes. In 1837. They yeah. lived together for four years. 
roomies. During which time they occupied the same bed during the night. They were the Bert and Ernie of the Civil War. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think it's just... Um, Four years of sharing a bed with another dude? They're roommates. Yeah, sure. In the same bed, no. Lincoln's big feet. Yeah. Just fucking getting all tangled with the other guys. Yeah, he wore a size 17 shoe. The other oh. guy would worship his feet. Oh, God. Because <laughs> yeah, Lincoln had a, Lincoln had to sleep sideways because he was so fucking tall. Eh, so that yeah, doesn't true. give him a lot of room for the other dude. Well... Mm. So you know what you do with your, you know all. what you do with your girl. You kind of play footsie under the covers with right. her, and you know you maybe you did that with Lincoln with Lincoln's big hairy foot. Yeah, you know oh. he had a big hairy foot. Lincoln playing what's under the stovepipe hat on his lap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it hard? Is it soft? What is it? He would cut the top out of it like you do with a chick with a popcorn bucket in the movie. <laughs> in the movies, and his roommate would reach in and just tug his cock. <laughs> Has ever has anyone officially? Can uh, I enter your log cabin? <laughs> yeah, give him a fucking extra extra log. <laughs> you think anyone has uh, done the uh, popcorn mm. trick for real? I yes. Doubt. What's the popcorn? I've fallen trick? for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's where you cut the hole in the bottom of the popcorn so when a girl reaches in, she grabs oh, your cock. Oh yes, you put your dick through it. Do you think people it? actually did that? Yeah. yeah. Someone I had think them. I think someone's done it, but it's it's the it's the difficulty of. Keeping the erection, because right. me with a flaccid cock, I wouldn't even penetrate the fucking popcorn. I box. think you'd have to pull your balls and dick through it. Yeah, it, like it's, really get it in there, like the, the presentation. It's the going in, sitting down, getting yourself worked up so you got a stiffy. Yeah, right. And then like she mightn't get to the end of the popcorn for a few for a few minutes. And uh -huh. if you're watching a sci-fi movie. Very difficult to keep the erection that long. That's what's so impressive about that trick. That is pretty. You know, you you bring up a good point, <laughs> but you got to think all that fucking keep greasy going. butter. That could feel pretty I, good. I don't know if butter and salt. Are what? Oh, well, the salt might sting. Yeah, through the and the kernels, a little piece of the kernels that got stuck. Imagine one of those in your cock hole. Yeah. <laughs> it would be fucking very unpleasant. <laughs> it really doesn't sound like it works very well. No. No. Lincoln, I'd rather uh, just grab her, oh. reach over and grab her tit. Yeah, right. <laughs> give her some juju beads. What's <laughs> spelled the right way? What's wrong with old school rape? Why do you, <laughs> have, to, why do you have to dress it up? You don't have to uh, make it a trick. <laughs> yeah, that's silly. Sam, more? Yeah, Lincoln's bodyguard and companion, Captain <laughs> David Derrickson, yeah. between September Played 1862 by Sally in the movie. <laughs> and <laughs> April 1863. Yeah. Uh, the two of them would share a bed when Lincoln's wife was gone. Mm. Sharing too many beds. I'm you know, it's a warmth issue. It's very cold. Yeah. Yeah. I tell cold. you what, though. I took a friend of mine on the road with me um, for the last few gigs I did, and we <laughs> shared a hotel room. Uh -huh. If you haven't done it in a while, like with the ex with the two beds, uh -huh. delightful. Really? It's you wake up. You know how you wake up next to a woman, and it's that. How's the day going? Am I in trouble? The first thing you ask a woman is, is how are you? Is everything okay? Uh -huh. Are we, we going to have a good time today? <laughs> is today a good day or is today shit? Am I in trouble today? <laughs> yeah, or yeah. Have I slept weird? Have you had a nightmare of me cheating on you? <laughs> Because if you've had a nightmare of me cheating on you, then we're having a shitty fucking day. So she's going to treat you like you did cheat on her. Yeah, where yeah. you wake up next to a friend, it's like. We got fucked up last night. Now it's, yeah, war stories. And you have little stories, and then you go back to sleep, and then you fart, and you giggle at each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking delightful when you have next to a yeah. friend. Delightful. Wow, so you, you you put your opener in the bed? With, I mean, the same room? Oh, I'd never do that. I, I, it was my very best friend was coming out to stay, and, and we shared a room for like five nights. And ordinarily, I'd never done it. And now I'm thinking of doing it with everyone. <laughs> right. Because I had such a good time. <laughs> <laughs> toilet though, but he's got you smell his dump when you walk in. Oh, it would drive me fucking well, nuts. Well, that shit would drive you nuts, Jimmy. Oh, I would literally, if even if it was my best friend, and the only option was share a room mm. or sleep on the roof in the cold. Yeah, that was I'd the, put him on that the roof. That was the thing, like it, with baseball players and or any sporting players, up until about ten years ago, they always shared. Yeah. It was always, you always saw, like, oh, and he shares a room with something. They always talk yeah. about their roommate, yeah. Yeah. And now they don't do it, but it used to be with all sports, about ten years ago, they all shared a room. That's weird, huh? I was watching that Ken Burns baseball documentary. Yawn! It's, it, but I tell you what, you fucking know everything at the end of the thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's 14 hours of... No, why? Because uh, you're panicking, the, thinking you're going to be quizzed he on He can and the, fucking put together a documentary, can the, he? The bit that they, they play it like emotional, they play Take Me Out to the Ball Game really slowly on the piano. <laughs> and if, he, if it wasn't for the color of his skin, he would have been the greatest player that ever lived. <laughs> din, 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 
din, din, din, din, yes. din, 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 oh, shit. And, and, and uh, Ty Cobb had a drinking problem and used to say the N-word a lot. Din, 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 God damn. <laughs> yeah, Ken Burns is good with um, putting that fucking music in because uh, the Civil War documentary, he did that where it was uh, like a lone fiddle playing. Right. You know, and it was the most American lives that were ever lost in a battle. To... <laughs> Moody well, It's this... all sad. And it's a slow zoom out. Oh, yeah. It shows yeah. one soldier, but by the end of it, and, my and God, a field yeah. of dead soldiers. It'll play yes. America the Beautiful very easily. Yeah. <laughs> We lost more people in that war than we lost in any other war. Oh, here, here's what you hear. <laughs> and 18,000 people were killed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you only did. I thought you only did baseball documentaries. No, that fucking Civil oh, no, War it's one. all over the place now. I, I, yeah. and, and that one was done in real time. It's fucking <laughs> <laughs> wow. Was it? I'm saying it was long. <laughs> it was great though, and and to be able to put together a documentary where you don't have any fucking film, yeah, or video. This was all still pictures. And uh, and like paintings, mm -hmm. but he did that thing that later would be called Ken the Ken Burns, Burns effect. effect, where he'd he'd use a photograph, but be able to move it in a certain way with the camera that it looked like action. You know, it's like ah, there's the fort, and then they pan over to the other side of the picture. Ah, there's the boat. <laughs> it's like oh, I see. He made it like a three D thing. Almost yeah, so then they would added depth they it? would like rotoscope out uh, a, a character, and then in um, uh, the the post they'd pull that forward from the background, blur the background to give it like a depth of field. Yeah, and uh, it looks amazing. it look really looks amazing. Yeah. I like how he just adds to his documentaries as he gets older. <laughs> like like baseball, you can tell was all wrapped up. <laughs> you <laughs> like, think? Like he, he ended it with. And steroids, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, he was all done. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And then he came back. Well, it doesn't seem to be as well. We, we, we haven't done this documentary for six years. <laughs> steroids, have, steroids have gone away. <laughs> the Boston Red Sox did win. <laughs> yeah, he's got a fucking up like, yeah. he, just, he just adds on to it before he dies. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's, fucking, he's pretty good, though, if you want to watch it. No, goddamn it. long documentary get, on anything. You find yourself uh, watching the whole damn thing. Yeah. Jeffries, why are you in town, brother? I'm doing the upfronts for oh, that's right. FX. We're, we're nice. doing. Um, Is this the bowling thing? We're bowling. Tomorrow. I remember you telling us about bowling a couple yeah, weeks we're, ago. Yeah, we're coming out. I've I've never flown so far to fucking bowl in my life. And to, if anyone from FX is listening, couldn't be happier about it. Can you bowl? <laughs> <laughs> really? No, no I, I, I can't. I'm not. I'm not a great bowler. I, I, if if I play a game, I'll get like two strikes. Right. You know, I'm not embarrassingly bad, but I, I use an ultra light ball and and sort yeah. of have a weird Fred Flintstone walk up to the line. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the tip -top. It's, it's, it's it's not like I'm going. I'm I'm thinking right now. When I get there, I'm going to bowl the shit out of this place. <laughs> and everyone's going to fucking know my name. <laughs> I, I, I got off at the airport because there's all the the people. From, I, I imagine Louis will be there. Is is mm. one of the other people I'll know? Will he be bringing his Peabody? I, I he just he just won a Peabody. Oh, I thought that was the guy he slept with in his log cabin. Oh, right. <laughs> no, oh, right. Oh. We just want to make sure we, you know, congratulate Louis C.K. on his Peabody. Yes. I have missed you, Peabody. <laughs> yeah, it was Colonel <laughs> Peabody. <laughs> Which one is the Peabody? What 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 award is that? Some, it's some journalist award. It's a pretty prestigious yeah, award. Yeah, of course, of course. It, it probably um, means more than an Emmy or an Oscar. Yeah, but yeah. We don't. We don't. Yeah. But it's, it's prestigious. Yeah, Simon. <laughs> yeah. And Peabody. I think it's for uh, well, time traveler. And I, I think Russell, Russell Brand will be there. I, I know Russell, but apart from that, I was on the fucking plane with the Charlie, Charlie, Charlie from oh, Sons of Anarchy. Man. That's who I was sitting next to. Oh, cool. And I got off the plane, and you've never 
been less of a celebrity when all the autograph hunters just fucking zoned in on him and I just oh, walked straight man. through. Oh, man. And the thing was, I normally, I wouldn't, I don't want that attention or anything, but the executives from FX were walking through the airport with us as oh, well. Oh, no, and you it, want them to you see you. actually see the pay difference between the two of us, like where their money was going. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, the guy from Sons of Anarchy, yeah, he gets to go through. He's very British, that guy. Yeah. 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 yeah, very British. Well, the thing is, you think because he's meant to be a tough guy biker, but yeah. I always watch that show like, are you tough, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you? You know what I mean? Like, it always oh, seems yeah. like, like actors, because all actors are fags, right? <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like actors going, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't fuck with me, and you know they're all like fucking snapping their fingers for a fucking latte as soon as the cut... <laughs> You're tough, are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, have you got a painted on tattoo? You're a big boy now. <laughs> That's a very good question. <laughs> so the bowling goes down today? The bowling goes down today, and it's, yeah. it's, we're, meant I, to, we're meant to bowl against um, uh, the advertising people. It's oh, like, oh yawn. boy. Yawn. It must be a big day for them, though. They're like, well, oh, we they're, get yeah. they're yeah, way more excited than you guys are. Yeah, but imagine the cunt that has to bowl against my team of, of DJ Qualls and Dan Bacadell, like the ugliest people on television. <laughs> my, my show is the ugliest people ever to be fucking put on a screen. If, if my, my TV show will never never have a calendar right there's, there's never going to be like no in february we got a picture of rodney in, a, in, a, in his underwear just leisurely walking the beach nice right so so they got a bowl against us and you know the disappointment if we get some like mid 40 year old women who are executives oh, no. who want to bowl with <laughs> say the guys from the americans or the fucking charlie from sons of anarchy uh -huh. and they get me and dj qualls who looks like an aids victim right <laughs> and, and and dan packadel it's yeah it's, when we're going to have the depressed group. That's a cool shot. Of course, we're talking about legit on FX. Yes. With our friend uh, Jim Jeffrey. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. I, I, the, the bowling thing, Australia, you didn't have uh, American bowling, right? You had that. No, that's the one thing that the whole world agrees on. No, nah, New England, they'd go with those tiny little oh, fucking candle softballs. pins. Oh, I candle thought, pin I bowling. I the whole world No, nah, except oh, for New like England. Pin -pin bowling. Even like there's yeah. people in burkas just fucking throwing a ball. Bowling, bin, yeah. Going, ah, it's good. You have know, you seen like, candlestick bowling? No, but we have... It's a nightmare. We have... my. We tried it once up there in Boston. Yeah, it's, it's not fun my at all. My father lawn bowls <laughs> every day. Lawn bowling? What's lawn yeah. bowling? Lawn bowling is... Bocce ball. Is, no, no, no. It's a different thing. It's 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 similar, but it's it involves... A, the ball curves. It's on a flat bit of grass. Yeah, like And that, you roll like it, and the ball curves, and there's a jack, and then you got to get the ball. It's the same as bocce is in the rules, as in you have to get it closer, <laughs> but you do it from about, I don't know, 50, 60 meters away. And yeah. old people just, it's something you just start doing when you're old. You're like, all right, I'm lawn bowling now. Yeah. You know, and my dad just does it just to, so he doesn't have to see my mum. <laughs> <laughs> you know what sucked about candle pin bowling? I hate it. Like, like you, you take the ball and it's got no holes in the ball. You just Get a palm video it. For Jim Jeffrey, you that? palm it. Yeah. And no matter how hard you threw it, it would hit the pins and go like, Clink, clink, clink. It would kind of bounce off them. Like, there's nothing better than when you throw a fucking bowling ball and that you noise. get a good fucking... And it curves and hooks right in the pocket and just... Bang, and, and it makes a great sound. Everything goes The candle lines. pin is just... Oh, clink, clink. I clink, clink. I tell you what, that bumper bowling, though, is making kids into tards. Oh, yeah, you need gutters. Come on. All right, because my, uh, my, my fucking... Yeah. My nephew's like... What is he? He's like... He's like 14. Yeah, I took him bowling, and him and his friends had never been fucking without the bumpers up. You don't know God. what a gutter ball and I, is? I said, you got to put it down, man. You, you look ridiculous. <laughs> it's stupid. And then and then the little fucker, his, his sister beat him because she had the bumpers up because she's an 11-year-old girl. Like, uh -huh. who gives a fuck? Let her have the bumpers up. Yeah. She beat him because, you know, she's playing a sport that doesn't matter. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he had a fucking cry. Oh, I've never been shit. more disappointed because his sister beat him. And I, was, I was like, oh, fucking man. man up. Look at this shit. Oh, yeah, look. See that little, you, I, little candle. You must have seen this pins. before. No, I've never seen it. 
Listen looks, to the sound. It looks like tablets. Yeah, watch. Yeah, listen to the sound. They, yeah, they look like old Tylenols. I don't know what the strategy this guy's is. Like. Look at the tiny ball. Oh, he looks like Dennis Franz. Yeah, he yeah. does kind of look like Dennis Franz. Look at that. That's the ball. He's one of those guys that when you when you meet him and someone goes, you know, he's thirty. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, yeah, it looks 54. <laughs> like, how the fuck? <laughs> like, is, yeah. He's from that generation where everyone looked old. Yeah. Isn't it almost impossible to get a strike in, in candlestick bowling? I would, with that fucking little ball. Look at that. Do they do it in the US? Yeah. New England. Oh, New England. New England. Yeah, it's yeah, all about just it. got There's a strike. The strike right there. But so. man, that has. Is there places? So stupid. Or are people just doing it at home? It's no, New England is all about New England, it. yeah. So you go to like actually like there'll be a bowling alley with candle pin bowling like in it. Lucky yeah. strike, candle pin bowling. <laughs> lucky strike. I mean, they got the regular bowling up there as well, but they yeah. certainly have held on to the candlestick too. Boy, if you're not a pro bowler or you don't bowl very often, it's really a hit or miss kind of game, isn't it? Like you could be like, hey, I bowled. 210 that fucking and round, then and then the 80. next round it's like five gutter balls in a row, and you'll okay. convince yourself like, I think I got this now. Because there's no guarantee it. your alley's going to be perfectly fucking level. Well, that's true. I don't, That'll fuck I up don't these guys. That, I, I just, no, I, I just try to bowl it as straight and down the middle of. There's no curve. No curving. No and, fucking. And you just, I can sort of see one, and then, then sometimes there's one that well, that one's too straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's gonna leave. It's gonna a leave split. a split. Yeah, that one's too straight. Yeah, you want it just slightly off. Right. And then if I leave one, <laughs> slightly if, off. <laughs> if I leave one ball, if I leave one pin in the corner, oh, that's a nightmare. for me, that's I could fucking miss it by miles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's luck of the draw. That yeah. all I've got is straight down the middle. Is my whole tactic. So if you if you have one in the corner, if you have a seven or a ten pin still standing, yeah. you have to bowl straight right next to the gutter. Exactly. And it has to go the whole way without going into no, the gutter. No, you move all the way to the right and do the yeah, angle. Thing. No, but even, he, he not, just yeah, needs to go not straight. Even the Walk. I, I. It's not even the bowl. I've <laughs> got to stand in the other person's alley. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. To, oh, right, and then right. bowl it oh, down. Okay. I, I can't. I can't like do that. No whole, angles. I can't visualize that if I do it that way. It'll right. go No I gotcha. fucking chance. <laughs> have you ever been? Have you ever been like bowling with a girl and she beats you? It's. It's demoralizing. Like I don't need a, I don't need to beat women in sport to feel good about myself. Right. But I do. Right. <laughs> yeah. And you bowl with a girl. It's like, all right, there you go. I had this one chick from Kansas who bowled like a two hundred, and it just was the biggest turnoff I'd ever seen. You were done. I want a girl that just fucking just gutter balls it and and just goes, oh well, <laughs> ah, <laughs> whatever. I don't want a bowling strikes. I like a girl like you. You're right. One where where the ball is heading to, toward the gutter. She's already turned around and has her drink back in her hand <laughs> yeah. from the fucking table. Yeah, that's, she now that's a date. Yeah, right. she's some, some, some dummy with long nails. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Some dummy. <laughs> All right, listen, we gotta take a break. Jim uh, Jeffries is here. He's bowling. Uh, anything else you want to promote? Legit's uh, doing very uh, well on le FX. Legit's on, on Legit's on Thursdays. Yeah. And, yes. And, uh, I, I am going to be told in the next hour whether we get a second season. Oh, tonight. fuck yeah. Come on. If they have you here, that's a good sign. I think they're going to give me one, but I, 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 think, don't, I think you I, got the I've, second I've, season. I've had too many failures in my life to. Uh, but then again, assume. it would be fun that you get the bad call while you're live on our show. That could be fun, too. That would be, Let's be honest with each other. That would be fun as well. <laughs> but we're not hoping for that. I think you got the second season. They yeah. wouldn't bring you here for the, if you yeah. were. I, I, they would have saved the fucking uh, you know, airfare. I hope so. I, at, the mo <laughs> at the moment, at the moment, I was. Why can't they I just was, tell you? Because they know right now. Uh, that, yeah, but yeah. they have announcements to make, and maybe <sighs> there's we got it, but there's a stipulation or something. I don't oh, know. Man. Maybe, maybe they'll ring up and go. You have a second season, but less retards in this season. Oh no! Which, you know, will be tricky. Cause, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because my brain always goes straight to <laughs> retard. I, I was I was trying to write an episode the other day that was a funeral episode, and all I could think was, all right, so one of Billy's friends dies, right? And then all my brain was doing was, wouldn't it be great to have six Down syndrome people carry a coffin? <laughs> Right, they're the Paul Bear. Right, that's that's what I've written. Uh, that's all you've written so that's far. Written. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good start, I'm though. Sitting there going, it all builds from there. Yeah. <laughs> that's our jumping-off point. <laughs> and you hear a horrified scream, and then the next shot is them walking out, and then you see the lid dangling, and you realize they're carrying it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Episode written. <laughs> All right, there it is. <laughs>
All right. I'm taking that, Jim. Uh, That's good. good. Jim Jeffries, everyone. He's uh, going to continue with us. Stay there. Jim Jeffries in studio. He's doing some bowling today. Of course, the star of Legit on FX. Yes. And I was asking you about, I think it was the last episode, um, uh, the character Pinball. Yeah. And He's uh, based on a real person. Based on a real person? Yeah. That's, uh, that, that was based on a real incident where I raced a couple of mentally challenged people in a home once. Oh, right. Yeah. You've, you've I, told that story I, on the I, show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But but what's weird about legit? You don't know if they're actors or if they're real. I mean, my, Rodney. Most of our disabled people are mentally or physically. <laughs> yes, they. But occasionally, though, I just I don't even have the option. I, it's like I I I, I said um, I, there was a scene where I was meant to be chatting in a bar with a couple of comics, and I thought, who who are a couple of nice blokes who deserve a break? Who uh -huh. are you comics? So I picked a couple of guys I knew in L.A. And one of them was Brad Williams, and Brad Williams is a dwarf. And then I was like, I didn't even need to choose a dwarf for that. It just so happens. I must have a hard on for this. Yeah, people. yeah, just for fucking freaks. And then, there's, and then this episode tonight, we have Vern Troyer, who's mini me, singing uh -huh. the national anthem at a baseball game. <laughs> That's and, great. And originally, we had Charo in the script, and then Florence Shh. Henderson was meant to come down. We were trying to get like a kitschy celebrity to uh -huh. do it. And then none of them were available, and then it was like, oh, fuck it, let's get Vern Troyer, mini-me. And then it was like, another disabled person, how did this happen? They didn't even... <laughs> is he cool? He was, all, well, you know, he's, yeah, he seemed cool, yeah. And how tall is he, really? He's, is he like this? He's two he's feet? shorter than my four-month-year-old son. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's under two feet. Yeah, he's a little tall. How is he still alive? Um, <laughs> right? I, I, Those I, organs would have just I, shut I, down. Not I only are they tiny, they're all squished together. Yeah, yeah. I didn't ask him that. I thought that would be bad manners. <laughs> that would be bad manners. Good call. <laughs> He's been around a while now. How are you still alive? Still alive. Oh, that's terrible. How yeah. could you live being less than two feet tall? Does, it, does he walk into the room? No, he comes in on a scooter. Him oh, right, he's still doing that the, scooter? Yeah, him in, getting on and off the scooter is... And also, he had the iPad Mini with him. Oh, <laughs> And I, I thought, that must have been a big day when they announced that uh -huh. for him. Like, the other iPad was like, this isn't convenient at all. No. Like, product of convenience. It's like large <laughs> screen TV for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's carrying around a fucking... Like, his <laughs> eyes still work the same. It's not like he's... Is he still drinking? Uh -huh. Um, Wasn't he on Celebrity Rehab or, or Sober House or one of those shows? Oh, Surreal Life. Surreal Life. Ah, Surreal but he got Life, fucked yeah. up on Surreal Life. Yes. Yeah, I, I, he wasn't fucked up the time I knew him. He was just singing the National Anthem. Look how so small, small he is. That's just Jesus. amazing. So I was, I was telling you a story in the break, and I, I never yeah. really got through it. Okay, so when... Uh, this this relates very vaguely to pinball. So I was shagging a chick in Vegas who many years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, here in America, shagging means uh, fucking. Yes, having sex. I, right. I didn't want to be and so. Vegas cool. I know means everybody. preschool. <laughs> 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 so I, I, I will, I'll, I'll the, the, the name of the girl was Samantha Harris. She's a she's a redheaded uh, ex Playboy model. Let's um, have a look at her. Yeah, you yeah. can you can have a look at her. She she's she's very pretty. When when done up, put redhead Samantha Harris. Red redhead. Head. How many years did you get her after she was in Playboy? That's kind um, of important. This is a few. No, she's still in her twenties. It was still within the range. There she is. There, oh, get Jesus. one. Oh my wow. god! Wow! Yeah, so, dude, come on! Yeah, but in the morning she looks like a burn victim. Uh, anyway, so, <laughs> come on, really? No, she's no, That's she's funny. all right. No, she's very pretty girl. A little too freckly. She's actually she's actually very nice. She had ab didn't work out. She had abs on her. It was unbelievable. <clears throat> but, really? Uh, so I was I was seeing her, and I was still saying she's a very nice girl. So she was living in a house. She, she was working by the pool in Vegas, earning however much they earn in tips, where it's just pretty girls in bikinis serving drinks, right? <laughs> yeah. She was living in a house with another six girls who all did this job, right? And they were all fucking... Um, yeah, you see there? She had a slightly retarded look to her. Anyway, so, so she... Um, <laughs> so, she, she, so she was... Uh, she was living in this house with six other girls who did this job, right? Yeah. Now, you know how girls don't have interests or hobbies, <laughs> right? Besides themselves, right. like, 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 like men are like, I'm Jim and I also like cars and pinball machines. And I, when I was a kid, I used to make models and watch f f soccer and, you uh -huh. know, what I mean? like men, when, men have shows they like and things they're into and women just have like, I like my hair to look good. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
bit, like like sometimes ugly women have interests, but good looking ones. They Not so much. They don't. They don't have hobbies. I don't care. Like your wife's a very good looking woman, right? Does she have a hobby? Yeah, I think so. No, if you have to, I think so. If you have to think about it. No, my mum's a fat and attractive woman. She collects teddy bears and dolls. Oh, so right? she has hobbies. Good looking women don't, don't have, have hobbies. hobbies. They're too busy fucking maintaining the facade. Right? <laughs> the facade. So, so, she, so, but what they'll do is if they like a guy, they will all of a sudden just pick up your hobbies. No, oh, you know what I mean? Where really? they'll be like, yeah. okay, we're going to go see the Dodgers. I love them, right? So I like pinball machines, right? Mm. Always like pinball machines. Now I've got a bit of money. I've bought myself some pinball machines, right? And when I was in Vegas, I was like, let's go to the Pinball Hall of Fame. <laughs> so I take a Playboy bunny out to the Pinball Hall of Fame. Can you, can you imagine the fucking nerds in this place? It's over oh, yeah. the road from the Liberace. Didn't even know they had a Hall of Fame. The guy pinball. who owns it doesn't even want people to know. There's no fucking sign <laughs> out the front. He just wants to sit there oh, cleaning he, his machines and. Oh, is he the hoarder guy that has a warehouse and he's just collected them? That's in Jersey. That's right. by Atlantic City. Oh, okay. Oh, right, yeah, well, yeah. Stop showing pictures of her. I regret not Let fucking me see. that anymore. <laughs> Does she have a nice pussy? Oh, wow. uh, um, I'll tell you something about a pussy. They, there's a lot of photoshopping on that thing. Why? It, oh wow! It doesn't look as nice in the flesh. It's uh, the Playboy have done some. Uh, Why is it really meaty? Eh, not in the pictures. Anyway, so oh, I so uh, I interesting. No, she's a very nice girl. I'm going to say that again. Once, one more time. Very nice wow. girl. She's married now, so uh -oh. it doesn't matter. Anyway. <laughs> So, um, so I, I, I went, let's go play some pinball. And all the girls that she lived with, I look like a troll to them, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Unless you know I'm a celebrity, I'm a fucking ugly looking guy, right? <laughs> so I show up to the house and, and she, she likes my stand up and I met her online or whatever. So she thinks I'm great. But the, the five friends she lives with, the other playboy models are like, who the fuck is she? Oh, man. Who the fuck is she brought over oh. to the house? We're all dating Luigi and his Ferrari, and she's oh, he's brought over this fucking troll, right? Oh, man. So they all hated me, right? And not hated me, just dismissed didn't me. Didn't understand. Yeah, yeah. didn't dismiss me, yeah. right? So I take her along to play pinball, and, I, and I'm there going, wow, this is a, a really done-up <laughs> version. I'm really interested in the machines, and she's acting interested, like, this is exciting. Oh, no. And then I play the new Indiana Jones machine, that's their mate, which incidentally isn't that great a machine. The old Indiana Jones is fucking yeah. awesome. But the cool thing about this Indiana Jones is it has the Ark of the Covenant at the back, and it has an eight-ball multi-ball which is like wow. most times you get like crazy. four ball multi-ball yeah. and i played this thing for a fucking hour until that thing came through right yeah and then i come back multi-ball i come back with with to the girl's house and one of the girls is in the kitchen she goes <laughs> she goes so how was your day i go how was my day i got an eight ball <laughs> right <laughs> oh, and no. all dead proud of myself and then her eyes sort of lit up and then all of the fucking Playboy bunnies came out of the holes like rats. Oh my god, <laughs> like they, they thought you meant coke. Yeah, but I didn't. Oh, I hadn't clicked. an eight ball. Yeah, I yeah. hadn't clicked on this yet. So I'm sitting around, and all the girls are really interested in my <laughs> conversation. Oh They're no! They're all sitting around, and I'm there. I'm there going, yeah. Well, you know, the first machine to have flippers was uh, was uh, Humpty Dumpty. Oh, Duncan. you dick! Uh, oh, I'm yuck. talking about baseball, and I'm thinking these girls are all right. They're not as vacuous and as boring oh, as I thought. Oh, man. And then the ballsy one out of all the six girls stood up and went, Are you going to share this or not? And I went, what? And they go, the eight ball. I went, oh, no, I don't know. Oh. They couldn't have left the room quicker and more disappointed. They didn't like you to start with, but now they really fucking yeah, hated you. I've broken up their day of looking at themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they were tanning or something, and I interrupted that with my yeah. lies. Wow, that's funny. Holy shit. There she is. She has a tremendous body. She just makes a living out of uh, uh, bikini competitions. Yeah. See, that's really? A, that's another thing that yeah. fucking females make. Bikini? What the fuck are you... <laughs> you, know. you make a living out of walking along a fucking thing in a bikini and people vote whether you do that good? And that's your living. That's your living. It's, 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 yeah, yeah, that's amazing. It's that whole thing that, that men are just such dogs when it comes to sex where we're just like, well, just, we'll just pay someone to walk around. You know what I mean? Or we'll, yes. go, we'll go to a... It, it's, it's like when a woman goes on a bachelorette party 
and they think they're fucking outrageous for having a straw with a little cock on the end of it. Like, uh-huh. look at this. This straw has a little cock on it. <laughs> We're mental, right? right? Yes. And a, man, and, and a man thinks he's outrageous mental. because he fucked a prostitute. <laughs> right? which, is, yeah. which is a completely different emotion. But women are like little bobbly cocks hanging yeah, on their Yeah, heads. look at us. And, oh, what's, what goes on here stays here, ladies. Come on. Don't talk about the fucking springy dick hats we were wearing. But it's also that, that men are such... F- so fucking gross. Like if it, you you'll say to a, you'll say to a friend you'll you'll come out of a lap dance and he'll go, how was it? You'll go, how was it? It was awesome. She parted her ass cheeks and shoved it on my face. <laughs> right? Like that's how good it was. Right? Where no woman's ever fucking had a private dance with a man. Where it's like he just pulled his testicles really hard <laughs> and pulled his ass apart and shoved his ass over my nose. <laughs> It was one of the best experiences of my life. <laughs> where, where men will be like, that's, you know, she shoved her fist in her ass. Where a, 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 man, great. a woman would be like, he shoved his fist in his ass. Yeah, she'd be horrified. I, I feel, she'd I fucking feel violated. Counseling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, uh, like uh, think of every nasty stripper move when the girl, like, just fucking gets on the floor yeah. and just. Mm. She licked my shoe and then just fucking pulled my cock. Like, like if if you just if you if a girl can make he licked my shoe and then started fingering me, it was so gross. Right, but if you got a hand drop in a strip club, you're like, that was a good stripper. You start, you start fingering a girl randomly. Yeah, awkward. Oh, very. Yeah, I, I would gather it would be extremely awkward. Uh, I remember going to bachelor parties, though. You, you talk about that, the bachelorette parties, and, and they, they think it's all just crazy for the girls to go out and do that. I was at a bachelor party once. Two girls show up, and they're on the couch, and they're making out and fingering each other. They're totally Listen naked. Out. And they had sex toys, like, just thrown all around this place. And guys picked up, went to the biggest fucking dildo they found. It was laying around. There were the little pocket rockets, and then there was like something called the anal intruder. Mm. And uh, they picked that up and just started fucking shoving it into one of the girls. Just walked over as they're making out and just shoved it in her. Well, the girls yeah. brought that knowing, though. They could oh, of course. It, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. The, there was nary a complaint, yeah. believe me. There, there's, a, there's a comedian from Canada, Canada called Mike Wilmot. Who I know Mike. Very funny. Yeah, very funny guy. Yeah. And we were at a bachelor party, and... Uh, he he's you know he wears glasses right and he, 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 he everyone's getting lap dances or whatever and there was one girl walking around stripping and she comes up to Mike and she pulls his glasses off and she puts one handle up her ass and one handle in a cunt and then wow. she pouts it so that the glasses start probing out like oh that. shit then she pulls both of them out she licks the handles and then she puts them cro- crookedly back at his face and he goes I'm sure that was very good but I didn't see a thing. <laughs> 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 yeah, but girls are very presumptuous, those strippers, as to what they think you're going to like or what, you know, because, I mean, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah. The glasses were up her ass and... You wouldn't yeah. want to put your glasses on after they were in her cunt? I don't think so. <laughs> Give me your yeah. glass eye. Thank God Sammy wasn't there. She <laughs> popped his glass eye out and put it in her asshole and it's shoved just, it back in his head. It's peeking around. Yeah. She can fucking man- manipulate it where it looks like it's looking, <laughs> <laughs> following you around the room. <laughs> it, there's certain things, like if you go to Thailand, there's things that strippers do, which, when did it go from sexy to just, well, that's a talent. Right, right, a trick or something. Like, no one's ever seen... A, a woman shoot a, a dart out of a cunt yeah. and pop a balloon and gone. That is amazing. Fucking hell. That's we, all I want to masturbate we, we've to. Seen eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen a, a girl throw eggs from her vagina. I know. It's interesting, yeah. but you don't it's get amazing. it. It's not sexy. No, it's, it's, it's not, sexy. not fucking It's amazing. Hot. It had, is amazing. We had one of these, uh, you know, stripper, uh, bachelorette, uh, bachelor girls come by, and she would throw eggs from her vagina. Yeah. She had a little hip motion, but still. <laughs> it we, was we would, uh, uh, pretty amazing. We would swing at him with a wiffle ball bat. But that's like as sexy days. as watching fucking, you know, a magician. It's, 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 there's nothing, there's nothing like, hot oh, no, about no, it. But it's still cool yeah. as hell. Mm. But it's also when, if you've ever fisted a girl, <laughs> when you fist a girl, there's a bit like, well, well, I've done that now. <laughs> but then there's another bit where, is she proud of herself or really disappointed in yeah, the slackness yeah, yeah. of her vagina right. is she yeah. like, am I the only one in the room that has never fisted a girl probably yeah you fisted of course i have yeah, yeah. you yeah. know what i worry about Sam's when i fist a girl said no. my fingernails 
I worry that my nails are going to cut the inside of it. That's the really? weird thing I, I worry it, about. It's, yeah. it's always like a few fingers, and then you break. It's never like you go into like you walk into a place like today fisting. <laughs> it's it's always a spare of the moment. Like fucking hell, I can fit it. I could get three. And then there's like, four. Is it creepy? Uh, of no. course it's creepy. No. Is it creepy to do? No, because what what they like about it, or some of them like about it, is when your four fingers are in and your thumb goes in, it, it's almost like picture you're picking up a penny while your fingers are together. And then when you start to talk about curling it into a fist, mm. they get crazy. Like uh, like you tell them, I'm, I'm starting to make, they, they're like, oh my God, I'm getting fisted. Like there's something so taboo about it. Oh, I oh. never, I've never fist like well, I've always, yeah, but I, I've always I, just kept the hand like yeah, but then like you curl that. it into a fist yeah and then you like that fucking that monkey that went to grab the nut and made a fist and he couldn't pull his hand out of the hole anymore I always, you, you're too <laughs> dumb to to <laughs> stop making a fist I always keep my hand like I'm trying to get something down the side of my car seat <laughs> <laughs> yes you know it's it's like I lo this is the weird thing now with I have a car where you just press the button just to, to start the engine, Ooh, I don't, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I want to go back to keys. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was awesome, but now I lose my fucking keys in my car. Oh, because you, you before had it, I used to know where they were. They you were had to mission. know where they were every day because you're fucking mm. driving. Yeah, yeah, but now it's like I got to get out of the car. Where the fuck did I put the keys? Oh boy, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it was a good point. Fucking technology. If you weren't making that legit money, you wouldn't have a fucking car with a push button. And also I've done things like I I, I, I went to my I went to my girlfriend once, I said, right, okay, drop me off here or something, I go to the doctors or whatever. And then she had the car and then I've walked off with the keys, walked into the doctor's oh, office, she's driven two hundred meters and just conked out. Oh, is that what happens? Because it gets be away from the key. The, yeah. the distance from the key. Oh shit. Oh, I didn't know that would happen. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, yeah. You Can't the, you not lock the key if it's inside too? You can't because I have one of those as well, and I'm always afraid I'm going to lock the door and then close it. But can't you not lock it if it's inside, or is it harder to? I don't think you can. I don't know. I haven't tested that. But I think it's very hard to lock it inside of it because you you'd have to press the yeah, key to yeah, lock it. Yeah, yeah, you got to press. The and key you can to lock push it. the. That key usually charges when you. There's an ignition there, yeah. so you could take that fucking key. It's shaped like a thumb, and you could. It's like a long. Yeah, rear, yeah. And you could take that and push it into the ignition. Right there, you don't turn it, but you leave it there, and that's how you charge that where, thing. Where where is that? It should be right by the on a BMW. It's right by the button. Oh. Right by the button, you push oh. to the left. There should be a oh. thing to put your key in. The future. Oh. And then you and then when you want to pull it out, you push I the might, key in. I gotta find that hole and push it in. I like a key. I like, uh, like I a like good it. fucking metal nah, key. Now you break it off. Oh, oh, so I, I got a I've new I got a, a new key and the key was like 140 <clears> bucks <throat> and 60 dollars to program. Program your and fucking, fucking key. Fucking yeah. 200 bucks yeah. for a fucking key, man. Yeah. I should be able to meet some fucking Italian bloke who also will fix a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I always found that weird that that was the job. I make keys and fix shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you're like, who put these things together? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's as weird as I'm a lawyer and I do gardens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I like the idea of... Uh, a regular key, and if I lock it in the, the Escalade, I call OnStar, and they go, okay, we'll pop the lock, and then you just stand there, and they fucking send a signal out, and it goes, Tsh! unlocks your doors. It's fucking crazy. I hate OnStar's direction. Kenny has that in the truck. The directions, you gotta call them. With a navigation system, why the it's fuck do you use their directions? He doesn't directions? have a navigation system. What? Why wouldn't Kenny have a nav system? Because he doesn't drive a lot. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have a nav system now. Oh. He doesn't drive to a lot It's of like places. having a fucking Do you remember, radio? like, before you used to go out places, you used Dude. to look at, a, like, a, a book, and you'd get a the map. number, and yes. that thing. G6, and then six, <laughs> let me see. I can't find that street. It's not here. <laughs> it's not fucking here. I swear. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, and, then, yeah. and then it wasn't just like, I have to drive down here. You have to go, all right, I gotta go up to page four. It was like, choose your own adventure. <laughs> right? You have to go back to 46. Yes. And you go, all right, then that map. And I used to, I think it's made me stupider. Absolutely. I used to be like fucking mapping shit Even out. Yeah, shit yeah. out. Yeah. And now it's like, I don't give a fuck. You did have to map it out, and, and you had, you chose which routes to take to for distance and speed and shit like that. And now, 
with a nav system, you don't even know where you are at any given moment. No. It's like you're just waiting, oh, f- fucking 40 miles and I, I to take an exit. So you know you're good for 40 miles. It used to be you had to look at every sign to see if your fucking street was coming up. Exactly. And who needs that? There's a down tree somewhere and you got to turn around and go fuck your mother. You're lost. <laughs> with a nav system, it just reroutes you. It's fucking I, uh, great. I understand, it's but great. you know, just not knowing where you are. Because but, because the nav knows, I don't have to know even what fucking city I, I'm in. I used to sell car stereos and mobile mobile phones, ooh, and we're talking yeah. <laughs> twelve. Actually, no, hold on, I was about twenty-one, so four, fifteen years ago, I used to sell mm. these things, and they invent. We had the first ones in the shop, really, right? and we had a display thing, and it was. It was about four thousand Australian dollars to get one wow. of these things, Jesus. right? Now you get one for a hundred bucks. Bucks Super right? Stereo World, yeah. So cool. <laughs> and and it was I used to demo it to people, and people I never sold one because no one believed it worked. Yeah, yeah. And I was, and I didn't believe it worked because I'd never seen one actually work. Right. All I, all I had was this display model and me going. It'll tell you. <laughs> it'll tell you how to get places, and yeah. then like people would go, Bullshit. "How does it know where you are?" And I'd be like, "I have no idea." <laughs> Good self uh, selling just, uh, point there. Did, but my my biggest my biggest like you know you when you sell things you put little jokes in. So I go. I go, uh, it has a male voice and a female voice that you can choose between. It was a big clunky thing you put in the trunk of your car. I go, you put wow. it in the trunk? Yeah, and then like the, it fed a wire up to the front of your oh, car because there was man. a big transmitting box. There. And I said, it has, a, it has a male voice and a female voice. The difference is the, the female voice gives you the wrong directions. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. And then, That'll be $4,000. And then it never... Yeah, yeah. I what that. was it called? Oh, I don't know. I Probably a very literal name. The Finding Device. It, it, it was. <laughs> I I was working for a company called Strathfield Car Radios in Australia, and uh, it, and our slogan was "Drive in and jive away." Right. Oof. Wow, that's, that's bad. That's fucking terrible. That is really fucking bad. <laughs> they've gone. They've gone bust. Drive in and. Oh, it was like, drive in and jive away. A Strathfield Car Radios today. Drive in and jive away. That was the big fucking oh, thing. Oh, the big jingle. And it was me working with, like, Italian and Greek guys who really gave a shit about these fucking things. <laughs> and and I, I had, like, a comedy career that I wanted to yeah. get into. And it was just... The sh- I was just drunk the whole time. <laughs> you know, like, that age, I was, like, 23 and just getting yeah. leathered and waking up and... <laughs> leathered. And just... And I, I, uh, I, no. I remember once selling a car stereo to a bloke where it was like i'd be i'd walk into people's cars this guy had a white van and i'd be like this you can get some six by nines there you can put a subwoofer there i didn't know what the fuck i was talking just about just babbling shit babbling from fucking... shit and we'll run the wires here and i didn't know what the fuck i was talking about and so then i i, I pushed the job through and i went to the guys who installed and I, I got the apprentice guy who'd be there for like two weeks right oh man and i said just put the fucking speakers there put them there run the wires here fucking bob's your uncle this will be fine right <laughs> So this young lad just fucking starts cutting into the vehicle. Oh, shit. And and he puts... I told him where to put the speakers. He gets the saw out and goes... <laughs> the fucking support beam on this truck, right? No. He cuts through it and the roof oh. the roof just starts caving in. <laughs> no. <laughs> right? So with, with one foul cut, we've totaled this gun's yes. vehicle. <laughs> like, totaled it. <laughs> right? <laughs> and, and, the, and the, the guy comes back, and, and this is my opening sentence. I go, good news? Stereo sounds great. Oh, no. Bad news? You're going to you're gonna have to see your car. And it was fucking, the roof was caved in. Fuck. And Jesus. You, you just have to apologize profusely. What a dummy. Did they just replace his truck? Um, I think we had insurance. The company had insurance for things such as that. We had another one where there was new BMWs. And you test all the wires, and no one had this. New, there was a if you if you tapped one wire, the airbag went out. Oh shit! And no one knew this about the new BMWs, right? So these these guys gone, and he's sitting in the fucking the driver's seat, and he's pulled the stereo out to put a new stereo, in, and he's tapping all the wires, and then poof, right? Knocked out cold. <laughs> the fucking because he's on that angle where his head's oh, down shit. in this thing. And oh, so we shit. just see this cunt passed out, that white powder everywhere yeah. <laughs> from the fucking airbag. The car was about five hours old. The guy bought it and oh, took it to get a new oh, stereo. Oh, man. And they, they're expensive to replace. So no shit. <laughs> yeah. but, 
<laughs> oh man! But I was also working in the days of fucking where where we were talking about phones like this has a nine hour battery, so you oh, only wow. have to buy like four batteries. <laughs> and <laughs> the good old days, yeah. And, and where you started to tell people the weight. This is how much this phone weighs. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like because people were actually going that is, and we went all the way down to little tiny phones, and now we're going fucking. Now we're going the, the other way. The other way. Yeah, yeah. we can't figure it out. People want big well, fucking want. screens. Yeah, it was yeah. weird at first. Yeah, you would get a phone, and you were just amazed that you had a phone you could take with you. So it didn't matter how much it weighed, the features that were on it, as long as you can make features. a phone call. Yeah, so make a phone call. Sony had one that didn't have a screen. That, yeah. I don't know how the fuck that worked. Like, you just had to memorize numbers. And boop, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a regular phone. I don't remember that one. But it had a remote control. What? I'm like, what the fuck? Why would you need a... Is, how's that? <laughs> Why would you need a remote control for a phone? That. Right. But I remember when it came into the shop, like, this is the future. <laughs> <laughs> And it had a mouthpiece. Instead of an antenna, you'd hit it, and a mouthpiece would flip down like ah. Oh, like oh a they didn't have a good design. yeah microphone, so they what? couldn't. Uh, you, you could yeah you couldn't talk into like an iPhone where it's all the earpiece and the microphone. The mic had to flip out in front of your mouth we in order for to, people to hear we you. We used to have like you used to program numbers, and you'd have to like so there wasn't a SIM card that went in the phone or anything. There'd be like the way to fucking get a number in a phone was to go. Hash, 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 four, four, three, two. and every phone Whoa. had a different combination. It was like a, a, a computer fucking idea. Holy and then you put the number in, and I this this good looking girl came in, and I was trying to talk to her. I was doing hash, 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 and then I thought, what I'll do is right, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll program her number in one digit wrong, so she has to come back, right? Instead of asking her out right then oh, and there, Jesus. I'll make her come back, right? And so, and so uh, she comes back, and then I go, uh, and then she's laughing. I said, I'm so sorry about that. And then I went, look, uh, I actually programmed your number in one wrong. <laughs> oh, you did no. not. Do. <laughs> because I was hoping you'd come back. And she went, you just wasted my fucking time. <laughs> I call, call, called my manager over and I got in trouble. <laughs> that works with like a Brad Pitt could do that. Yeah. You well, know? A rom com. You can't do that. In real life. Yeah, yeah. A rom com. All oh, right. I thought I was brilliant. We, we got to get the Sunday gravy people in here if you want some good food real fast. Jim Jeffries is here. He's just in town to hang, really. <laughs> oh, you're doing, God, uh, you're doing Unmasked with Ron today, I'm right? I'm doing Unmasked, yes. Uh, I don't know when that's going to air. I guess they'll explain that. Yeah. I gotta... you're, but you're taping it today. Um, I am. I, three three o'clock. And then you can you can see me and all the stars from FX at Lucky Strike <laughs> this evening. There's nice. my there's my name up at the top of the fucking yes. wow. that tweet. <laughs> They're showing it on CNN all fucking day. <laughs> I'm part of the racist tweet that Robert Zimmerman, the uh, the alleged racist tweet. The, the alleged? Uh, no, yeah. it's a racist tweet. <laughs> well, you know, it no, all depends Zimmerman on how I, you look at it. No, he's, I understand the point Zimmerman was making. Not at all. That's not yeah, yeah. He's he was, he was making a point about the media and how they the present yeah. uh, yep. people, victims and, and perpetrators and things like that. I got to plug something before oh, we plug do away. Quick. I'll be at Caroline's April 11th through 14th. I got to And... Uh, April 1920, I'm in uh, Magoobie's Joke House, and then Ooh. Stress Factory, Memorial Day weekend. Well, why don't we do this? We'll go do Wee Wee's. Yeah. Uh, Roland's going to, like, hand out some Sunday gravy food. Yeah, Ooh. Jim. It's never no, too I, early to, I, to a, eat their sauce. This I'm shit a, is the best. I'm, I'm telling little, you right now. I'm a little hungover. Uh, yeah, this might be perfect for you, then. What, what type of food is it? It's, uh, it's sauce. Italian sauce. Sunday gravy. They do it upright. Have you seen this thing? Hold on. Let me see if it works with this. All right, I'll, I'll tell you. All right, what do we got? We got like pasta and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful! I I need Thank to eat you. before I go to Boston. All right. All right, we'll be it, back it, it with Jim Jeffries, the star this of Legit on FX. This can do nothing. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, what happened? Oh, what'd you drop? Everything. You dropped something. Everything. I want to thank the people from <sighs> Sunday uh, Gravy. I, I'm, I'm telling you, my favorite fucking sauce in New York City, easily, Ooh. if not everywhere. You tried yet see. there, Jim Jeffries? I have. Holy here's fuck. My, here's my favorite sauce in New York City. Yeah. 
But there's a fucking place in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. It, it, it really is the best sauce I've ever had in my life. And it, it'll be good for your hand. I'm, take, uh, I'm taking some home with me. Yeah. Because I fucking packed out. I ate two things this morning. Just now? Yeah, that's what I do. Sauce? No, no. I had, oh. uh, I had uh, a sandwich mm. and I had some soupy. Mm. So uh, I'm so fucking full. I'm like... Roland, this is a nice Roland. surprise. I didn't know the Sunday gravy people were coming in today. Is there any juice in the house? Juice? Yeah, juice. they run this yes, place. they certainly do. It's amazing. <laughs> Just go upstairs. Like Enjoy yourself. Pineapple or orange or something? Uh, yes. Can I have the, like, one with ice? Is that like, am I being really demanding? I feel, no. I feel you're, like, you're a fucking TV star for the love of Christ. You're a TV star now, I man. Start acting yeah, like one. come on. Yeah, act like one. Start, like, <laughs> start acting like one. Start being got, a fucking asshole. All right, <laughs> right, what are you waiting for? Yeah, I got fucking, I got Nick Daly who plays Rodney on the show, right? And he's like, it's weird when a mentally challenged person becomes famous. I would gather. Yeah, that's kind of a weird <laughs> thing. Has it changed him? Well, I said to him, that. I said, I said, have you been noticed in the street yet? He goes, no, but in all fairness, I haven't been in the street. <laughs> <laughs> Some logic there. Yeah. Yes. I went, A bit of I logic went, there. I went, in, in parks anywhere, you've been noticed. Oh, I have been noticed. Not in the street. <laughs> like, like, his brain's like, not crossing the road. No, no one has stopped me right, crossing right, the road right. yet. Yeah, he's thinking very literal. Yeah. Wait till your kid becomes a literal kid. What, you saying my kid's going to be retarded? No, no, no. Like, we've, we're teaching my kid how to hit a baseball, and we said you got to keep the eye on the ball. Mm. So he puts his actual eyeball on the on the fucking you're, ball before he hits it. And then, he tells, chip. He's just <laughs> chip and, then he, and then he tells everyone, this is how you do it. And he puts his actual eyeball on the fucking tee. That may be your kid's simple. Uh, I'm, hoping <laughs> no, no, I'm hoping not. Simple. Then the other day, I'm like, yeah, brushing your teeth is a real pain in the neck. And he's like, my neck doesn't hurt. Have you, have you ever... <laughs> oh, oh, literal oh, kid. Oh, oh, literal have you kid. Ever, like, my, my kid, like, I don't know what it goes through his head, right? But we assume that he's a good person mm. because he sleeps eight hours. <laughs> That's our whole benchmark. Of That's all you've got like, to work his with. His head might just be saying the N-word over and over and over again. Right. I have no he's idea. a great person. <laughs> <laughs> but but we, don't, we don't judge him on that. We judge him on, like, how's your baby? Oh, he's great. He's really good baby. He's he so, sleeps. Yeah, he, he sleeps, sleeps eight hours. And, like, is that the benchmark on someone? I guess so, until they start, you know... Yeah, Becoming a real person. No, you, you make a lot of sense. Yeah. You feel like you got a, a good kid if they're doing just the most basic shit like that. Tony's outside. I think he wants to say hi because he's popping my, his head through the My, 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 girl, my girlfriend Our will, old engineer. will, will give a round of applause to a baby rolling over, right? Yeah. I bought her a fucking car. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. Yeah. yeah. I just had a nice chat with our old governor in New Jersey. Did you? In the really? bathroom? No, no, outside. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> what a lovely man. Yeah? Was he nice? Why doesn't he come in here? <laughs> he's, doing, he's, he's doing POTUS interview. Oh. And what is it? Peanut? What? He says where I was oh, from in New Jersey. POTUS. We took a picture and he was just chatty about uh, you know different places in Jersey. Very nice. Yeah? Yeah, really nice man. Do you fucking do you chats about old tr truck stops and rest? Well, we, we mentioned the few areas. What happened to... We, we both knew what the other one meant. I was like, what happened to that one on 78? He's oh, like, yeah, yeah. yeah that was... Ixnay on that one. <laughs> Roland, do we have Roland. to get a plug in for the Sunday Ro gravy guys? Is that good? Roland. Oh, you Roland. Roland. What do we got? Sunday gravy. Huh? Sunday gravy. <laughs> what these guys what get is, a plug what is, in? The, what is that? I, I, I was out of the room. What is exactly in there? It's Sunday gravy. What, what is that? All soup? the meat you can think of. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of different meat. I'll have one bite of it. Oh. I'll get ham one. It's delicious. Thanks. Oh, really is ridiculous. I can, how come you can't eat it on Thursday? <laughs> Cocksuckers. Yo, get, <laughs> let these guys get their plug in real fast. Because I want them to come back. <laughs> what do you got? Slow braised, uh, get in, uh, get on the mic. Am I not on it's like you, you've never done radio before. Yeah. Never well, get on the, the right. bill. I don't think that's turned on that mic. Is yeah, it? go ahead. Yeah, so Sunday gravy, uh, it's a slow braise of pork and beef, bra slow braised on the bone, six to eight hours. And tomato, basil, garlic, onions. Uh, we had sausage and meatballs. And Mud on. Yeah. So. Uh, like my mother used to make. Mm. And we're God bless her. How good is that, Jimmy? I see you enjoying that. Is that the best shit ever? I can't eat this today. Oh tomorrow night I'm going to eat that. Oh, I can't eat don't what, eat it what, today. What are you dieting for? You got something big coming up? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. That's finally here. He's recording another special? In Boston. Yeah. Oh, but you just get tired of the fucking self-hatred and the fucking mushy tits in the body, so... 
That's fucking delicious. Mm. Wow. I, t- I tell you what, there was a bit when we were filming the TV show where I, I lost weight wow. before the first episode, <laughs> and you can progressively see me get fatter through the season. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, not just like a little bit, like it's noticeable. Right, By episode right. 13, I'm fat, right? <laughs> And and I, I kept on thinking, like, this is the time in my life where I really should... Because maybe someone will see me and think, he's a funny guy, let's put him in a movie. Uh-huh. Right? But no, nah, old fucking fatty. Right? And I'm not funny fat either, where you're like, you know, I... I Farley should, I was should, funny fat. Yeah, I should commit to getting really fat or really thin, because this <laughs> right. in-between thing's not fucking Doesn't funny. Doesn't work. You're not right? John Candy, you're yeah. not fucking... Chris Farley. Right. Anyway, but it, it was it was the catering on the set. I was oh, on like really? a three donut a day, Oof. and then like the guy would bring around a tray of cookies, and then like you get to that stage where you're like, "Whoa, one cookie won't hurt me." And then by episode thirteen, it was like, "I'm already fat." <laughs> Might as well yeah. fuck it. All I'm in. Caution to the wind, it. motherfuckers. Yeah, fuck it. that I'm all in fat. shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm fat now. Let's fucking ride this <laughs> fat train. You got to fight so you don't go all in. <laughs> All right, Sunny uh, Gravy people, thank you. Thank you. That was delicious. I, 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 was, um, yeah, I don't know I'm where. Home. Where are you located? Oh, I'm right here. Shit. Oh. We're located in. Um, <laughs> we moved to uh, Northern Jersey, about an hour, about 45 Maybe. minutes outside the city. But we're doing. So you got an of, amazing sauce that no one could really get. That's, that's, yeah, that's, no. that's a great business. Is plan. this just sauce it's for like online at uh, Sunday Gravy NYC? Mister Sunday oh. Gravy Does NYC. This go on, me, on like fucking spaghetti and stuff. Yes. Oh, throw that over a pasta cube. Imagine. I just ate. I never actually fucking. Sauce before? That's so good. What? I can imagine, yes. <laughs> you, asked I, 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 you asked me if I could, right. and I was thinking about imagine it. Imagine if you will, in the world of imagination, <laughs> Excellent. pasta with sauce on it. I want to eat that right. whole thing. You're fucking right. You want to eat the whole thing, right? Thank yeah. you, Sunday Spoon gravy. Spoon it into your mouth. Thank you. Thanks, man. I had three little nibbles, and then you have to tell yourself no. It's I'm going to take like a little bit. It's I can't even imagine. And when the, whenever, whenever someone says that, they really can't imagine. You can imagine it. And that's why they're saying it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine that someone would do that. No, you no, can. You can. People are assholes. But when they ask it rhetorically, can you imagine? Yes. <laughs> yes. Just tell them yes. That girl fell asleep and he fucked her in the ass. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, I can. can. Um, Very vividly. Sure can. We should start wrapping up. We got trains to catch. Yep. And it's not going. I thought maybe last minute you'd go, ah, fuck it. Uh, uh, I'm gonna relax. No, nah, I got I got a uh, I got a poker game. Nice. Um, I'll be good. And then uh, it, it's Easter Sunday, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Went off, I went off poker when they got rid of the online stuff. Yeah, yeah. I've had to find some games, but uh, I, I I play at my house. I have some friends come over and uh, and play some poker at my house. It's kind of fun. I, they 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 took everything out of my account for cheating. What? Me and my brother were cheating, so that was fair. How they find out? <laughs> Co- uh, we Wait, were uh, fucking. We would we would get on. We only, my brother didn't really wasn't really into it. So we, we were playing five dollar games, but we would go on games. I mean, he'd be in Australia and I'd be here, and we'd Skype each other, and we'd muscle up against people. You like, tell each other what you have. Yeah, yeah I yeah. go. I got this, and we were going under our, our grandmother's names. I was Betty Bell, and he was Mavis Duff, right? <laughs> 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 Grandma's name. Yeah, like our, our two grandmothers names. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. two ladies never liked each other. We thought it was funny that they always met up for a poker <laughs> They're in the game. same room. It's amazing. <laughs> Look at them. How did you get caught? Because uh, I think... Collusion, they, yeah. Yeah, the collusion. They could start looking at... There was times when I was folding like pocket jacks if he had pocket kings. Uh-huh. Like, they're going, who fucking folds these off the flop? Uh-huh. Right? Like, you know, they they, they they could see little bits of cheating going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And so, but the thing was, this is the big thing. So I was playing $5 games with my brother. By myself, I was playing like $100 games. Or 50, oh, yeah, $50. yeah. I would do that too, yeah. And I amounted like 700 bucks in my account. And they fucking took all my money because my five dollar cheating. I wasn't, oh, I wasn't Jesus, cheating. take my five dollar cheating. On my hundred dollar cheating. Right. Yeah, I wasn't no, cheating on the hundred dollar. I wasn't against. cheating on the hundred. I was right. just dicking around with my brother. Yeah. Who incidentally is a cop, right? <laughs> <laughs> I I was uh, part of one of these online things, and and you, you know you take the credit card, put money in, and this fucking uh, I, I lost it all, you know whatever. But then they they emailed me. And said, Mr. Kumia, um, uh, your bank uh, did not uh, give us the money. Like, apparently the bank 
said, no, we're not going to. They gave me credit for it, and I played with a lot of their money over the course of quite a while. Yeah. But the bank at some point just said, no, we're not giving you the money. And uh, they were like, so could you please get in touch with us where we can arrange oh, to have fuck. you give us uh, this money? I'm like, fuck you. What do you think? I'm gonna, <laughs> fucking, I lost it. That's not my problem. I don't anymore. give a shit. Your your fucking mistake. It's, who is that woman who's the uh, the mayor of somewhere that lost? Mike Bloomberg. No, <laughs> <laughs> she was the, she she lost a billion dollars in the Jack in the Box fortune. Oh no! Online gambling. She was the mayor of I think maybe San Diego or something. Really? Wow. She don't she lost a billion dollars online gambling, right? <sighs> but then after she lost the the billion. Right, she lost three million. That was from her l late husband's charity that she did wow. to that, and that's why she got out of prison. And now the the court case is saying, ah, oh, she's got a tumor in the brain that's making oh, her judgment a little bit fucking. How do you lose a billion dollars? Oh my she lost the what? entire Jack in the Box How do you fucking fucking lose? If you have a billion dollars, why would you wow. do anything with that? But was she a billion dollars? Or the attorney for them. No, she was. She inherited all her. Oh, her late me. husband was the guy it, from the family what a line. Worthless cunt. What's the table max at some of those rooms? A million dollars. I want to play the million dollar game. <laughs> here, here it is. Former mayor of uh, yeah, it's, yeah it's, San Diego. What a worthless cunt. One billion dollar gambling addiction. That's. And a the, thousand stacks of a million dollars. Yeah, or a million stacks of a thousand. Wow. A, de a, a, de a decade long binge where she, she lost a billion. That's a hundred million a year. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> what a fucking worthless cunt. What a mush, too. She can't win a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. You think you could really muscle the table with a, a big stack? Wow. Jesus. Yeah, so and like, and she was mayor of a fucking. So she, she mayor. Oh, obviously, people didn't think she was a fucking dummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then stocked in California though. That's where it was. The Jack in the Box fucking like the rest of the restaurant, the fast food place, Jack in the Box. Yeah. Jack in the Box. Yeah. Or I was... thought she sold those things and went. Bing, 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 yes. bing, 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 bing. She handmade them and sold a billion of them for a dollar each, and then lost her fortune. <laughs> <laughs> I always find that, I always find that Jack in the Box like adverts. The guy with the round head, creepy. Yeah, the fucking uh, the Jack in the Box. Yeah, the Jack in the yeah. Box guy is creepy, and the fucking that the, the what's creepier is the Burger King. king. Oh, the King, yeah, he's, that was always very scary. He just somebody wakes up and he's just hovering over your bed. Yeah, like that. I'd fucking lay some rounds into him. He fucking have some lead. Hey, where in Australia was that shop? I don't know why I'm obsessed with knowing that that you worked at that radio shop. Stratfield Car Radios. That, that was the thing. Is that was the name of a suburb in Sydney. But then it became a chain, and they still just called it they by called the suburb. They called it that, regardless of where it was. So Strathfield. Stra Strathfield. Strathfield you, so that was a suburb of Sydney you lived? Yeah. I, um, well, Strathfield was a suburb. I didn't. <laughs> I worked in the Artam and Strathfield car <laughs> Where's yes. that? Uh, the Northern Beaches of Sydney. Mm. What street was it on? <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really curious. Why? I don't know. That's hilarious. You think I made this well, up? No. No. <laughs> but you don't know anything, no, 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 no. But you don't know anything about Australia. Here's what it is. When guys talk about stuff like that, like it's it's a world, like it's it's a separate life, right? And I I'm like, where is this fucking place? Like, I can't comprehend being there, right? No, I believe mm. you. There it is. No, it was on the Pacific Highway. Can we okay. Google in map a, the actual location in, in so a, you can get oh, a picture ooh. of it? Stratford Car Radios Artarman was the one. I also worked at the Brookvale store. Mm. <laughs> and where is that? Brookvale. Brookvale. Bro Brookvale is near Manly, and then you know Manly Beach or whatever. Uh, Manly Beach was uh was is wow. a beautiful beach in Sydney. But it's named Manly because Captain Cook, who who oh. discovered Australia, went. Don't those black men look manly? <laughs> wow, what a they're all they're all standing. Anthony with, didn't discover. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that beach would be called today. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. To, let's go to N word. Yeah, beach. exactly. <laughs> uh, with fucking before it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, well, wow, there it is. I gotta go home. And there it is. All right, see you in a bit. I'll see you on the train. All yeah. right, enjoy. Yeah, have brother. fun in uh, Boston. Enjoy. Yeah, have a good Happy Easter. Easter. Happy Easter to uh, that's... all the fucking Christians, uh, the real religion yes. out there. That's not the one I worked at, but that's one's in Parramatta. So that will. <laughs> this is a boring conversation. No. Fuck I, it. I, I love curious. it. I <laughs> love it. Well, uh, Caroline's April 11th through 14th. 
Uh, fucking Magoobies and stupid uh, Baltimore, <laughs> 19 and 20 of April. Oh, I'm doing the Austin Comedy Festival, the Moon Tower Comedy Festival, April 27th to Saturday. Ooh. Plenty of tickets available. Tickets. And then, uh, you know, fucking whatever. Mm -hmm. Stress Factory Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. What did you do before your comic, Jim? Worked in warehouses. For right. Forklift operators. <laughs> Where? No, I don't mean like that. But no, it's, where with all? It's always easy. every co every good comic I've ever met who knew they were going to make it as a comic. Yeah, was just the worst employee at another job right before it. Yeah, I yeah. was the worst. Yeah. Terrible, terrible. I got fired. The only time in my life I was ever fired was from Layacost Lamps, and it's because I was going out and doing gigs for twenty five dollars, and I would just be too tired to go to work the next day. So I they fired me. Uh, yeah, I, I I would talk about it all the time. I was I was terrible because I wanted to do radio. I honestly wanted to do radio and or or you know have my band kind of do something. I did not want to work for a living, so I was I really was I did just enough work to not be fired and even that I I pushed it on a daily basis. I I was the worst employee ever. I would find areas <laughs> where speakers were stacked up where I could hide. Yeah. In Go the, to sleep in the shop like hide. I, I I remember I, I remember one time being drunk and showing up and doing that. I've just been drunk fart that just fucking <laughs> permeated the whole like, place. Like, like so, I've walked up one end of the store. Like, all right, I'm gonna have to go do a fart down this end of the store away from everyone. And then this woman comes in. She's after something. And then the manager walks over and like Jim will help you out with that. And I've gone. Oh no. Don't walk over here. Oh, she, no. <laughs> she's walked over like, I just need to speak. It's for my, oh, my. <laughs> and like, that's a, oh, my God. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> and I'm just standing there in my fart. Just <laughs> Finding places to sleep was uh, a talent uh, on job sites and stuff. Construction sites was pretty good. If there was a big stack of fucking sheetrock or something uh, next to a wall, you could crawl in between there pile something up to lay down and make a pillow out of and just pass the fuck out. Yeah. I would get a friend to ring up the store and go, um, I need this type of speaker that I knew was out of stock in our store and that he'd be coming over to get it. And then I'd drive to the other store to pick it up just so just I could to get have, out of there. Just so I could have an hour to myself. Driving around right? yeah. And then I just dick around the city, and then I get my friend to ring back up and go. Actually, I'm not going to buy that. And then the boss would ring me. Oh, you can come back to the store. You don't have to. Get, you don't have to get it. I'm not going to buy. Just so I could have 30, 40 <laughs> minutes to myself. Like it was. Uh, it was that elaborate, just so I could do nothing. Yeah, clever ways to avoid working. Yeah. Fuck. I hated it, and I, I knew. Like I, I needed to know that I was going to do something else, because yeah. the thought of. Doing sheet metal work for the rest of my life was uh, not even an well, option. Do you ever remember when you told people you're going to be in radio or a comedian or, or what, what have you? I remember working in a bar in London and going, oh, I'm, I'm going to be a comedian soon. I'm gonna and that, they'd never seen me perform. Uh, and everyone's like, sure. Yeah. That sounds like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I remember telling my parents I was going to be, be a comedian. My parents to this day have never laughed at a single fucking thing I have said. <laughs> and and when, when they think I'm a very unfunny human being. Right. And they went to go to them, I'm going to wow. be a comedian. And just that look of, oh, oh, really? All right. People think you're going to make people laugh? My dad my dad would come and watch me perform in front of a couple of thousand people. He'd be in a theatre and, and, and then afterwards go just be bemused that those people were laughing. Like, he'd just be like, really? Do, what do they laugh at? He'll say things like, they 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 seem to enjoy it. it will be it will be what it was like. Oh, my mm. parents! My parents like Dame Ender Average is like the pinnacle for them. Uh huh. You know her? Uh, no. It's ba <laughs> it's Barry Humphreys. It's uh, it's a fucking um, he's a drag queen comedian. Oh oh no. Oh, oh I they're... I just got a text. Wow! Legit has been announced for a second season. There it is. A oh. Big announcement! Big announcement right there. That's breaking news. Breaking news. Very good. Congrats! They uh, say that right at ten. Jim Jeffries, <laughs> right at right at ten, 10 on, on, the, on the nose. Yeah, ten on ten on the nose. That's great. Wow! Uh, wow, that's very cool. Very yeah. good. Now I got to write the fucking thing. Shit! Well, you already got the fucking retards. Retards. And the retards carrying a coffin. Yeah. 
And uh, that I reckon I could I could space that out into a two parter. Oh, now it'll write itself. <laughs> yeah. All the funny that idea. things they do at the they go tobogganing with it. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, season two is going to be weekend at Bernie's with Down syndrome people. Yeah, right. <laughs> that, wow, that would be funny. Actually, that is. I'm going to tell you, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> um, I, I'm I'm getting out of here. I'm leaving. Uh, the after show uh, is coming at what? What this? Oh yeah. Oh. You want to read it? Go ahead. Oh, I got one. You got to read it. What's it for? <sighs> oh, you want to read it, Jim? Sure. <laughs> All right. Where are we? Well, not quite yet. If you liked 40-Year-Old Virgin and Knocked oh. Up, well, you're going to love it. This is 40. The latest comedy from Judd Apatow. We had Judd in for this. Uh, this is 40 looks in on the lives of Pete and Debbie, played by Paul Rudd and Leslie Mann. A few years after the events of Knocked Up, after years of marriage, a couple struggles to balance romance, careers, their own aging parents, and their now teenage and 8-year-old daughters. All this while trying to figure out how to enjoy the rest of their lives. This is 40 features an all-star cast including Megan Fox, John Lithgow, Jason Segel, Melissa McCarthy, Lena Dunham, Graham Parker, and Jesus, Albert Brooks. This is 40 is an honest, candid, and heartwarming comedy about the challenges and rewards of marriage and parenthood in the modern age. This is 40. It takes us through Pete and Debbie's milestone meltdown as they each turn 40 while trying to navigate sex, romance, career triumphs, financial hardships, and everyday life. This is 40. It's a very funny movie. Own it with digital download where you can watch it anytime with movies on demand 28 days before Netflix or Redbox. That's uh, Judd Apatow's This is 40.